Hello YouTube, hello my viewers, welcome to another video. In the previous video you could see the error with the battery, how to solve it. And after that the LED for the battery indication here didn't work. We're gonna try to fix this in this video. Now if you're here for a battery error, please watch the previous video with the wires. I will show you how to reset the battery so it will charge again. And in this video we're going to open up this battery and see if we can fix this LEDs. Now by opening up this battery there can be dust inside because I did a very hard uh, job with sanding with the grinder and it was a very fine dust so maybe that's the that caused the problem I'm not sure. As you can see, there is dust in there. Oh yeah, definitely dust in there. Show me from close up. I hope it's visible. You can see all the dust on the print. So it can be that this is causing these problems with not charging and the LED not working. Now as you can see here this button is to trigger the capacity button for the LEDs and you show that and you see that it won't light up. First throw some air in there with the Drill Pro very handy powerful blower I think I think I got it I think I know what the problem is I think there is dust inside this button because if I move it or there is a break in the print because if I move it sometimes it comes on as you can see here Let's try to clean that a little bit. See if this if that will work. Again. Move it this direction. I think there is a break in the print or something. I don't know. Something like that. It is in the button. That's for sure. When I move the button, then it pop up. Then it pop on. See? I think there's that this button is this button is dirty inside or something. I don't know. Very sensitive. Is it the whole button on the print or is it only just the button itself? Let's clean that up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the other one also if there is so much dust inside. And see and compare it to the other one. The other one is already a little bit cleaner. I need to blow it out. I need I still need to blow it out with some air. And otherwise we're gonna contact Parkside Little Shop to see what to do about this. Because you should be expecting that everything is working. Oh, there's even more dust in this one. So much. That's very much. Here, yeah, look. This is very fine dust. Oh my god. Look at that. It's even worse. And this button is also covered in dust. 
So that might be the problem. Uh, let me take a picture of this first. Well, of course, these batteries are expensive. Well, cheaper than other batteries, but it still costs you a lot of money. So I will apply for warranty. I will see. And I know I already opened it up. So if they say no, I totally understand. But I'm, even, I'm gonna try, see what they have to say. And I hope they will help me. What I have done, I went into the little home application and I did an upgrade on the batteries. In the application, there is a button where you can turn on the LEDs and that works. Then they will pop up, go on. But if I push the button, sometimes they go on and sometimes they don't. And now they both have this. So I think I have to send them back both. I don't know. I have to see. But they still do work. They, uh, they still charge. They still deliver enough power. The, uh, you can see that in the application also. This one is fully charged and this, this one is 85% uh, charged. Let me clean this one. Now you can see the difference between the batteries. I have them correctly in the picture now. Yeah, you can see it like this also. Here there is some kind of plastic mold over the print and here it, here it doesn't so that's already a difference let me turn them both the same direction so you can compare these for yourself they have both the same model number i did the same job with them very fine uh, dust came into both of the batteries and the only thing that doesn't work now is the LED sometimes it pops on so I think this knob this button is causing the problem I'm not sure oh I want to use it because most of the time when I pick up a battery, I touch the button to see how many capacity they have. So I really want them to work. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send them back to for warranty and see what they can do about it. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do now. And I will come back in this video after I have more information. So. It's the next day and I couldn't let it go so I opened it up again and cleaned it again and after I put it together I tried it and what did I see? They both work again. I cleaned it very well out with this dust blower, the Drill Pro. I will put a link in the description to this Drill Pro blower. It's very strong. So I cleaned it all the way out and then I put it together. I didn't check it and when it was together it worked again. So now we can charge them again. This one is I think 100%. See it's already green and this one was 85%. So let's charge it. Let's charge it and we can use them again. I hope this video will help you out if you have these problems. Um, please give the video a like and use the hype button below the video. Uh, that's a new function in YouTube. So please try it out. Use the hype button. You can give uh, up to three hypes each week, I think. So please give my video a hype and uh, see what happens. For now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.